Another of the core practicals, this time the I versus V graph for a resistor. You'll remember that we'd already built the circuit for a lamp, and now we're going to replace that lamp with this circuit, replacing the lamp with resistor, resistor A in this case. And just as before, we're going to turn the dial on the power supply and take six measurements of current and voltage. Okay, 3.04 volts, 0.13 amps. 4.35 volts, 0.19 amps. 5.75 volts, 0.25 amps. 7.14 volts, 0.32 amps. 8.62 volts, 0.3 amps. And finally, 11.18 volts, 0.50 amps. These are the results. Pause the video if you need to see them. And again, we can test these using a multimeter. We get something in the same order. We're now going to repeat for resistor B. Right, this time we have 3 volts and 0.06 amps, 4.35 volts, 0.08 amps, 5.78 volts, 0.11 amps, 7.19 volts, 0.14 amps. 8.72 volts, 0.18 amps, and 11.29 volts, 0.23 amps. Again, here are the readings. Pause the video if you need to copy them. Checking with an ohm meter, you find a very similar value to the average. For resistor C, three point zero six volts, zero point zero four amps, four point three nine volts. 0.06 amps, 5.84 volts, 0.08 amps, 7.25 volts, 0.10 amps, 8.79 volts, 0.12 amps. 11.38 volts, 0.16 amps. And the final set of readings, checked again with the multimeter to get the same order of magnitude. Here's the table of all three resistors with the calculations of resistance. And here's the graph you should be able to draw from that data.